My name is David Pollack. I knew Ben Abeles during the last 10 years or so of his life in Leicester. I am honoured today to be delivering his statement for the Holocaust Memorial Day 2021. Benjamin Abeles died on the 14th of December 2020 at the age of 95. He was an Austrian Czech physicist whose research in the 1960s in the US on germanium silicon alloys led to the technology used to power space probes such as the Voyager spacecraft. He grew up in Austria and Czechoslovakia and arrived in the UK in 1939 on one of the kinder transport missions. He completed his education after the war in Czechoslovakia and Israel from 1949, obtaining a doctorate in physics. He then lived and worked as a research physicist in the US and retired in 1995. His honours include the 1979 Stuart Ballantyne Medal and his induction into the New Jersey Inventors Hall of Fame in 1991. Ben was delightful company and a loyal friend to many. He was also a devoted father, grandfather and great-grandfather and a wonderful husband to Helen. He spoke several languages and was interested in a wide range of culture and continued as an intrepid traveller almost until the very end of his life. Ben's last publication is his autobiography in two volumes entitled If Not for the Kinder Transport. He also wrote the following statement for Holocaust Memorial Day just before he died. My name is Ben Abeles. In Prague, I was a bit of a juvenile delinquent and was going to be expelled from school. Under the Nazis, a Jew would have been expelled anyway. My parents were at their wits end what to do with me, but then the ideal solution came along to send me to England, both out of harm's way from the Nazi persecution, as well as giving me a fresh start. I became one of the 10,000 Jewish children that were brought to England in 1939 in what came to be known as the Kinder Transport to shelter them from Nazi persecution and ultimate murder in the extermination camps. I will be 96 years old this year, but I can still remember vividly my family and my weeping mother waving goodbye as the Kinder Transport train to England was pulling out of Prague's main railway station. I had just turned 14. In London, I worked as an apprentice cook at Bailey's Hotel in Gloucester Road, as a waiter at the fancy 55 Park Lane apartment building and the Lions Corner House on Coventry Street, as a travelling salesman, and at the Express Dairy Depot on Pall Mall feeding used milk bottles into the washing machine. When I reached the age of 18, I volunteered for the Czechoslovak section of the RAF. At the end of the war, I returned to Prague in the hope of finding my family, but they were all gone. To be well prepared for resettlement in the East, my father had his gallstones operated on and my sister married her boyfriend, Hansa. They were deported in March 1942, first to the Terezin concentration camp, and from there, my parents and my sister to Travniki and Hansa to the Majdanek extermination camp. Travniki was a training camp for concentration camp guards. Jews brought there were used as training material in torture and killing. To this day I suffer nightmares imagining my family's suffering. There is no greater insult for Jews than to have the suffering they endured denied. The ultimate form of anti-Semitism 
by the Holocaust deniers. Most Holocaust deniers claim, either explicitly or implicitly, that the Holocaust is a hoax arising from a deliberate Jewish conspiracy designed to advance the interests of Jews at the expense of other people. We observe Holocaust Memorial Day to honour the memory of the victims and to affirm our resolve never again. <laughs>